One way to express a vector or write a vector is using something called the standard unit vectors. And basically these guys are like building blocks, um, basic building blocks that you can use combinations of these building blocks to build any vector that you would want. So here, here's, here's your basic building blocks. Uh, one is called vector i and another is called vector j i is one the vector one zero so it goes out one unit on the x-axis and then vector j goes out one unit on the y-axis these are called unit vectors because they're only length one and so uh, somehow and we'll, we'll show you how in just a second any a combination of these guys can be used to build any vector so even if you had a you know a vector like this you know that was the vector 3 comma 11 or something like that somehow you can take a combination of copies of i and copies of j and somehow combine them to get these guys here so uh, let, me, let me show you how this works uh, if i hide these layers here real quick um, let's say we had a generic vector v1 v2 follow this logic with me so would you agree that if i wanted to i could separate these guys out as v1 comma 0 plus 0 comma v2 um, that's true because if you wanted to add these two vectors you would just add the first components and you'd add the second components and you get v1 comma v2 and then um, don't worry about why but just agree or disagree if, if you can do this as well from the first vector could you factor out a scalar v1 v1 um, times the vector 1 comma 0 plus a uh, factor of v2 out of the second vector and you'd have left over 0 comma 1 and we're done what we have is v1 times vector i you should recognize him 1 comma 0 plus v2 times the vector j and so what we've just shown here is that you can take any generic vector and write it as a certain number of i's plus a certain number of j's. This is called a linear combination of i's and j's. So if I go back to my other screen here real quick, um, this vector uh, 3 comma 11 in component form, okay, I'll jot it down right here, 3 comma 11, this can be written as 3 copies of i plus 11 copies of j. So you can write these in either form. Um, some situations we might prefer to use standard unit vectors. Some situations we might prefer component form. It just kind of depends. A lot of physics examples we use standard unit vectors, but there's really no, no way that you have to write a vector. Um, so just remember, you can go easily, easily back and forth between component form and standard unit vectors just by writing the first component with an i uh, plus the second component with a j. Um, last thing I'll just mention though, a very common mistake, and I, I don't want you to make this mistake, is you have to pick one or the other. Don't mishmash the two. For example, you couldn't say angle bracket 3i plus 11j or anything like that. That would be a mistake. Um, you can't say angle bracket 3i comma 11j. You have to pick one or the other and stick with it. You, you can't combine um, the two, obviously. You have component form and you have standard unit vectors, and these are by far the most common ways of expressing vectors.